Okay, there we go. Oh! Okay, oh, Squid is getting very aggressive. SpongeBob SquarePants has arrived in Hot Wheels Unleashed. Now, the season pass is $4.99 if you want to get it, and you also get Sandy Cheeks' car for free. So, we're gonna check out everything in here. So, again, a lot of gears, some coins. This decoration is pretty cool. We get SpongeBob who looks like he's burnt or had a suntan. But we continue, we get a lot of gears, more decoration. You know, these decorations are pretty cool. I remember saying, I'm pretty sure I said in a previous video that a SpongeBob racing season would be pretty cool. Or was it Scooby Doo? Jellyfish fan. Okay, we're gonna get that. We're gonna grind this season because I want all of these cars. Yes, Mr. Krabs. So you have all the iconic characters basically. So this one is Plankton. Oh, it's a very small car. You know what? I, that will probably act similar to the Fiat 500, but again, you get a lot of coins. These posters are also pretty cool. More gears. So many gears. This looks like a cool car as well. This looks kind of similar to the Batman Rebirth, just without the top. If you had the top, it would be pretty similar, I reckon. Then we get loads more coins, more gears, a lot of customization again, a lot of filler. I thought they would have added something different. That's cool. I like that. That's some nice artwork. More coins and gears. I, I'm guessing there's going to be 50 again. Oh, he's here. Poster. <laughs> okay, some more coins, some more gears. What's this one then? Squidward. Okay, how did I not see that? That's cool. That's kind of like too much. All these cars look cool. The Sandy Cheeks one looks kind of basic, but I think we're going to upgrade it as well. Yeah, look, they all look like they have a suntan. <laughs> Tons more coins and gears again. Floor, which is... That just looks like sand, I guess, so we can try that out as well. This one is the jellyfish, of course. And we're getting to the end, well, 50. And here he is, SpongeBob SquarePants. And that's the end. Gears, coins, so many gears and coins, and all the cars. Now let's test out Sandy Cheeks' car and see if it's good or not. All right, here it is. When you first get it, it's a common. I upgraded it to rare because it seemed like it had very basic stats, but we're gonna try it in rare and let's see if it's good or not. This is cool. You can fully tell this is Sandy, just a little bubble. Oh no, we have Patrick's supercar. Oh my God, I just, this has no boost. Did you just see the boost that we had? It, it was like nothing. Look at how tiny that boost bar is on rare. When you upgrade to legendary, I think you get three boost blips. I think that's going to be the way forward, but we're gonna try and, this is a good car. This handles very nicely. I think this is a usable car, I won't even lie. Where are we, fifth place? Wow, fourth now. The front three are there. Oh my God, Patrick is driving as if it's actually him, crashing everywhere, but Squiddy Boy is getting a bit aggressive here. You know what? Come here, Squidward. Oh, oh, we're first, wait. How are we first when this car literally has no boost? Okay, there we go. Oh! Okay, oh, <laughs> Squidward's getting very aggressive. You know, his car does not suit his character. His car is like full on supercar, loud speed aggression. That's something that I would see like Larry the Lobster have. Not Squidward. Squidward would have something like gentle, maybe like a Bentley looking car or a Rolls Royce or something. But that is just the opposite, but it's still very cool. But we're singing first with a car which has horrible boost. Like, how are we supposed to do anything with this boost? Look at this boost. You do one tiny drift and it fills up. Patrick is really giving me a boost taste. He's not really, you know what? I mean, we know Patrick is not the cleverest in the uh, show, but obviously he's helping me in here as well. But this is fun. You know what? These are very intense races. How is, this car's amazing. I, I forgot to review the car in general. Car's good other than the boost strength. So I guess upgrading it to legendary is gonna be the play because it drives well, it handles well, it's got good stability. The boost strength seems good when you use it, but then it runs out quick. So upgrading it to legendary is the way forward. And we actually won first time round, well. Wow. All right, so what we're gonna do, we won with it on rare anyway, but I'm gonna upgrade it to legendary just so you guys can see how it acts on legendary and let's see if we can win again. Okay, let's go. I just briefly saw the statistics for this car on legendary and they are amazing. Okay, there's not actually any SpongeBob themed cars in this race, which is not gonna be as fun. You know, I liked racing against my fellow friends in the deep blue sea okay yeah this is good this is gonna be amazing Th this car is so good i they just you know what? Uh oh now it's too quick that was too quick look oh my god it's so quick the boost strength on this car is amazing when you have three this car is so fast oh my god unless they've reset all my okay no they can't have because the baja bone shakers up here so they can't have reset my difficulty but this is amazing. Oh my God, they always give amazing free cars. I have to give them that. These cars are always amazing to start off with. Actually, it might not be free, I think, because I bought the pass straight away before I saw my collection, but I did have something 
shining on my collection, so it may be free, I'm not too sure. Okay, well, uh, this is going to be another first place. We've literally eased past multiple different cars. We've tested out this car against the other SpongeBob themed vehicles and some other different vehicles that we usually race against and again <laughs> against even more vehicles and we are comfortably sitting first but I'm just gonna keep it playing when we finish this race so you guys can see that we actually are on extreme difficulty and I actually want to see myself because I'm not too sure this is the first time I jumped on since I just dropped this racing season and I want to see if they've actually reset my difficulty hopefully they haven't but look how easily this car just drifts oh my uh oh I wish that they did more for the racing season though like the cars and that are good but they also are a grind so if they did like themed areas like they did with Batman because that was so good. So my only thing I would say is that they should maybe try and do themed areas like a bikini bottom area. That would be so cool. Alright so we're here. We're now level 2. You know what? We're actually getting through the first few levels easy but that's because they always are easy. You don't need that much XP. But then it gets harder and harder. But I'm going to keep it going so that we can actually see what difficulty we are on. So we go left and then options. Extreme! Okay, the car is just that good. Well, here we go. Here are all the cars again. Now, I'm going to be excited to test out all of the cars except for SpongeBob. Sadly, just by the look of it, I feel like it may be a feature on Podiums with Trash, but hopefully it's not. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, drop it in the comments and I'll answer them. Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys on the next video.